All right, I got a screwdriver. So this is gonna be really hard to do this with uh, essentially one hand because you need minimum two hands from <clears throat> from what I saw. But essentially, so I'm not sure if this is what this is here for, but I'm using it for pivoting. So I essentially put the screwdriver um, on this backside and then uh, I use that to leverage it and then rotate forward. Now, the thing is, initially it was going and it wasn't going back, but now it's like, there you go, I just reset it the whole progress I did, um, which I guess it's okay. I'll show you guys on the bottom, essentially where it normally sits at. Oh, well, part of it's tension and part of it wasn't, so maybe that was just the tension portion of it that I let go, but in, like I said, initially, it was wound up more or less all the way to the front, but um, what happened up there is that let go of the tension because because like I said, it's a two-hand job. So essentially what you do is Like I was saying you pivot there you rotate forward and then there's this black little piece that's up here and what you have to do is you have to rotate that so Push it down so rotate it like so so it's under tension right there So if I let go it's gonna come back and what you do is you push down this little tooth thingy. Unfortunately, I had to push the camera away, but you can see now that a tooth is locked in there and um, it is essentially holding this forward. So same idea, um, then you just, I guess you get another tooth or whatever, and then you rotate it forward. And then once, uh, once you get it, hopefully another tooth, you can drop it down and then release tension and then so on and so forth. So let me do this off camera and then I'll show you guys how much slack I get in the end. A few moments later. All right, well, after some, uh, I should say, knuckle-busting work, um, I was able to get get it this far. I read online that someone got it up to the second tooth, and I honestly don't know how the heck they did that. So I'm just gonna, I haven't gone under yet, but hopefully this will work for me. Um, it gets really, really tight, <clears throat> especially when you get down to where there's no more teeth left. So hopefully this will be enough slack for me. Um, but again, I was just more or less, I just want to show, make a video real quickly of, uh, of how this basically works. All right, so this is where we're at, it looks like. Um, all right, so it looks like I might need a little bit more slack, but um, basically, I mean, I hope this is enough lighting. Uh, let's see if I get closer. Um, so this side, I mean, so I'm gonna have to rebend these teeth. I haven't bent them yet. Back up to you. Let me make this side. But uh, essentially, I mean, this side is like I said. This is the one that I have uh, a shim back there, or I should say, a ratchet um, that's holding the the e brake out. So I should be able to make something for or do the same thing for the other side to give me that same slack. And hopefully, when I do that, I should have them both locked in. But I'll update you guys in a little bit. Just let me work a little let me work with this uh offhand and then i'll give you guys an update all right welcome back so i figured i'd show you guys what i what i all meant about having a uh ratchet back here so this is the e-brake cable um or i should say bracket if anything that's the cable and uh basically just wedged um this is what i had readily available so i wedged this between that to give me more slack so granted that means that the that the brakes are pulled out or the e-brake pads and then I had to do this side too, so I took this all apart. Um, and on this side, I used a nut. So, hey, it's not stupid if it works, right? So, did that um, to give me slack up there. Um, here it is. So, uh, with doing what I just did back there and then up top, I did not have to unwind this any more than, than, uh, than what I did when I showed you guys. Granted, if I could get all the way down to the second tooth, the first tooth, it would have helped and I wouldn't have to do what I did back there, but I had to do that just again to get you know slack back here i tried pulling it with pliers on this side and i wasn't able to i mean there's not much room over here and everything so um did all that pulled it forward and then uh it was able to muscle these uh into the bracket again and then i had bent this side uh i bent the side back to where it was from when i initially pulled it so i'm now i guess after this is just i'm just gonna adjust the e-brakes put the rear uh brake set back or just put the disc back on and then um let this tension go for, but uh but yeah let me go up there and i'll release the tension show you guys how that works hopefully i don't bust another knuckle um and then that'll tighten this up all right so ratchets out nuts out on the other side now i'm gonna come over here and uh again hopefully i don't um i don't hurt myself again all right let's see how the heck we can do this 
So push up and then wait, is that out of the way? Uh oh, it is. Okay. Well, that's weird. Let me pull the, on the e-brake, actuate it. Okay. Huh, okay. Well, that didn't go back all the way, so let me check everything's good underneath. Okay, so that's still good, but it looks like the left side isn't. What the heck's going on there? That's weird. Oh, something fell out of whack in here. Huh, let me see if, uh, let's see in here. Yeah, this is very strange. All right, I might just have spawned another issue. <laughs> let me so this is the adjustment for the e-brake so let me just undo this and then uh, take all the tension out of it and see what the heck that causes because this is not a good sign uh, I believe these should be touching up in the front or put near so all right so after some adjustment um i was able to uh have slack and then be able to put the disc on and then when i put the e-brake then have tension on both sides so uh i mean there's videos on this online that i found um they're the same for envoys trailblazers um from all years or whatever uh but basically this is a nut for it righty tidy lefty lucy all i did uh, all i do is take a screwdriver and then if I'm trying to loosen, so trying to go left, I just go up this way. And then if I'm trying to go uh, tighten, I just go this way. So it's relatively simple. Um, nothing too hard there. But that gives you, uh, basically, it unthreads this and it opens. This side's fixed and this side is the one that moves. So once you start playing around with it, you'll see, you'll see how that works. But um, I just got to clean the disc off since I got my greasy fingers all over it. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's this side. I mean, it's all done. Uh, same thing, uh, adjust, adjustment there. I mean, I guess I could show you guys if anything. So, slide that on, and then uh, it's on park right now. But um, then you see it's. I mean, it's a lot firmer. Um, there's no slack between the studs and the uh, and the disc. So that's how you know the e-brakes engaged. And then again, vice versa. When you undo it, you have slack and. Uh, movement and then it moves back and forth but yeah that's kind of basically it so let's take a last look down here I haven't even looked myself after adjusting um, I remember before that one side used to be longer than the other so if it's that way then I'm not surprised but uh yeah it's the same thing and honestly that's probably why this side's the one that that pulled when I pulled the e-brake that one time uh, there's just more tension on that side. Um, I might, I might have to look into how to getting these even next. But yeah, that's kind of it. And then the front it didn't unwind anymore. Um, that's just the way it stayed. So that's uh, I'm guessing the way it's supposed to be. It just probably wound up back when uh, when it first broke. So now it's under tension and it's happy. So that's kind of it. That'll basically conclude. Um, this little video I just wanted to do for you guys just to uh, just because there wasn't a video available so I figured this might help you know at least one person if not more so again I mean the locker uh, the tooth and then I use this for uh, pivoting and uh, relatively straightforward but if you don't know that then honestly I, there's it's kind of impossible to hook up the e-brake back so so yeah so that's uh, that'll be it for today thanks for watching